how do you manage your time when you have so much stuff going on? I think one thing is truly, it has to be your passion. If you're working on your business and it feels like pulling teeth every single day, uh, it's, it's, you can't really manage it and you wouldn't want to manage it. But if it is something that you do enjoy every single day, you would come in regardless of anyone being in the office or not. You would put in the extra hours to, to make sure that, oh, you have everything uh, in line. Um, and hence, that really gives you that internal motivation to push through. Now to answer your question, how do I actually manage my time? I'm just giving you the prerequisite of what is needed for you to actually time manage. Um, I think one really, really important thing is to delegate. It is impossible for you to do everything yourself. And that's why I love delegation. I love actually thinking about each project or each item as a critical task. Now let me elaborate what t critical tasks are. These are tasks that without completing, we cannot move to the next step. As an example, without me identifying um, the name of my logo, there is no way I can delegate the creation of the logo for my designer. And therefore, I would need to create the name of my logo in order for the designer to work. That becomes a critical task for me. So my job is to identify all the critical, critical tasks within my companies and to delegate those critical tasks and for me to actually perform these different tasks. So then that way I can actually go and delegate them to the different respective parties. How I decide what to prioritize, like honestly, I don't think I'm the best at prioritization. I only do things based upon my, I guess, characteristics. My trait is that I like things to be efficient. I like things to, to go ahead of schedule. I like to be ahead. I, I like to always hustle. I want to, I want to be ahead. And hence, I would always think a few steps in advance to see are there any items we can do? And I'll give you an example. Right now, Jason and I, we're redoing our website. And while Jason is focusing on the content at hand, building up the wireframe, building up the design and everything, I'm already thinking of like, what can we do right now to speed up the process in order for us to have a really, really healthy uh, amount of content out there? And that's the reason why we need to contract out some of the uh, application and some of the content that we are producing. And so I was just telling Jason, I'm like, you know what? We need to create content right away. We already have a hundred videos plus that we have recorded in the past. We need to transcribe them into blog posts and everything. And that's the reason why we've invested in having an intern to help us transcribe all the videos and all the blog posts, even a month in advance before we were working on the website. So then that way, when the timing is right, which is in the next few weeks, we have a ton of content out there. And so definitely stay tuned on our website very, very soon. I think the beauty about what I do, okay, I'll tell you a little bit more about my day-to-day -day first. First of all, I wake up at seven every single day, not that I really want to, but actually, you know what? I do enjoy waking up a little bit earlier. Um, and then I take care of the baby. I make sure that I help as much as I can for my wife because I feel like it's a team game, right? I can't just rely on my wife to take care of the baby. I need to make sure I play my part as well. So by eight o'clock, uh, she's all ready. I fed her, change her diaper and give her to my wife. And then I come to work at eight. And come to work at eight and I take care of all my emails. And then I think about the project on hand. I have two to three different businesses right now. Um, and luckily actually, all of them are working at different pace. And within different pace, a lot of times you just need to make sure that you follow up with the coordination, follow up with the answers and follow up with um, big chunks of items that you need to complete. And then you can send it back off to different help, different help that you have employed for them to actually execute. Let me give you an example. Um, with us, we're redoing all our course content and that's over 40 different PowerPoints, 40 hours worth of, 
videos that we need to redo. And that means that we have 40 different slide decks that we need to redo as well. So we're relaunching the whole course in, I would say, November, December. So if I do not work on this right now, and if I don't work in advance to create the content, work in advance to put them in order, then I cannot delegate the task to designers to help me redo the PowerPoints. And then that way I cannot shoot the new items again. And that's the reason why it's super important for me to actually see the project a few months in advance. See where are the critical tasks which what I was sharing with you as well in order for me to locate exactly what I need to do. And so that's the reason why I have my notebooks. I make sure that I keep a good tally of how each of the projects are, are, are moving along the pipeline. And then I always check in with Jason behind the camera to make sure that we're on the same page. And at the end of the day, if we know for a fact that we're coming towards a, a bottleneck or that we're gonna get swamped, it is my job and my duty in order for us to go out and ask for help to actually employ help in order for us to be more efficient, in order for us to be able to execute the task at hand. Right, and that's that's kind of my day with, with all the different um, delegation, making sure that I complete all the critical tasks. And really my job is really to support my team and to make sure that they have what they need in order for them to do their job. If I don't support them, if I don't give them tasks, if I don't give them context of what needs to be done, then it's really impossible for them to carry out to create what I have for my vision. And that's the reason why that's kind of my day to day is to make sure that I play as a supporting, the best cheerleader that there is for my whole team in order for them to execute. And that's pretty much what I do is to make sure that's the case. Reply to emails, coordinations, um, establish relationships. I think that's a really, really important aspect of, of what I have to do is to make sure that I, I continue to nurture different relationships that I have out there. Um, and yeah, so by I would say four or five is, is when I'm like pretty much done and tapped out and then um, usually leave around five or six uh, and then go home, take care of baby, see her one last time, one last hour actually before she goes to sleep at like seven or eight. And then um, my nights carries on reading, uh, watching TV, spending some time with my wife. I used to actually hustle a lot more um, and I would go all the way up until 10 p.m. and just be working every single day. But I think during this pandemic, and especially because now that I have a newborn, I, I've definitely taken it back a little bit and really enjoying life a little bit more, spending more time with her and um, just really soaking up this whole journey. Because like building a business is, is not really a sprint. There's really no deadline. There's no end goal. There is only the journey to savor in. That's pretty much it. I've built multiple of businesses. I've sold multiple of businesses. And this is something that I, I've, I've came to realize is that as much as you want to push forward, there is always something to do. There's always the next project, the next goal, the next strategy to execute and the next campaign. And it's nice to have these little short sprints, but at the end of the day, being able to take care of myself internally, making sure that all the different components of my life is taken care of, whether it be my, my personal relationship, my friendship, my family, my own health, my own well-being, meditating, my business, taking care of Jason. It's, it's all part of the game. It's, it's just everything needs to have that balance in order for you to have a fulfilling um, career and journey. It's super, super counterintuitive, but at the same time, I truly think that this is my way of, of happiness. I think balance is, is not really for everyone. I think it's for, it really comes back down to your values. I believe for me, what makes me happy is, is having a balanced life, is to have, once again, to take care of the people I love, myself, my relationships, and my businesses. And that's what makes me happy because that truly is balance for me. So that's the reason why I, I keep my journal. I have a vision board at home that kind of like just lays everything out. And I look at it every day. Um, and I'm very cautious of, 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 of the relationship or the people that I care about. I do tend to spend a little bit more time with them. Um, and I'm very protective of my time as well. Like I, all my friends know that I'm busy, um, but I always, always make time for them. Um, and uh, if 
you're not that type of person if you don't really enjoy having a balance you enjoy just hustling it's okay that's just you simple as that because no one else out there is the same but if you do enjoy balance then definitely being aware of it taking a, a good log and a good journal is super important because it always allows you to really reflect on what is reality something that you have in here and something that you write down is completely different and a lot of times you see there's discrepancy of what you think and what you want and what you actually do and when you actually write down what you do compared to what you think then you would see that discrepancy and from there onwards you can actually rectify the problem to change the problem to do things and and um to to close that gap right one thing is that i i always make sure that hey am i spending enough time with my wife am i bringing her out and, and for us to actually enjoy different moments and i always ask myself that question because i feel like that that's relationship is always a nurturing process a work in progress same with anything out there same with your business same with everything out there that's it yeah. keep going to what what, what questions do you have there's only two minutes left in this card two minutes left in this card well i i hope you enjoyed this video this is a little bit more of a behind the scenes to show you a little bit about me and my thoughts and what really goes on behind the scenes in the office these things are unscripted um, and I hope you enjoyed them. I, I love sharing these thoughts, but at the end of the day, it doesn't get as much hits, doesn't get as much likes as all the other videos, which is why I don't shoot them as often. Um, but if you like it, I, I would love to share a lot more with you. Uh, in the beginning of my YouTube journey, actually, I had a whole series on mindset, but no one likes Googling it and no one's around watching to do some dude talk about their life and mindset and lecturing them, and which is the reason why I don't shoot as much. But Jason likes to hear them, and that's the reason why we're shooting it. So if you guys do enjoy it, smash the like button so I know this is something that you truly enjoy. Or you know what? Leave me in the comment section below on what you thought about this video so then that I... We know that like we can create more of these videos for you. Um, if there's no more questions, I'll see you guys next week.